Hey guys, it's me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts if you just rock with me, and got my six, meaning have my back because I have yours. Um, let's see what we're going to do and how this read is going to go is that we're going to pull from and get an energy and based on that energy we're going to talk about the journey and the lesson in regards to that and then we're going to understand the lesson uh, and at the end of the read we're going to pull from the chakra uh, crystal deck and focus on the chakra that we need to deal with or we need to learn about and then at the end we're going to release this negative energy or the negative energy from the read uh, with an affirmation so so far we have the lover's energy coming out so this is about doing what makes your heart happy but it's about walking away as well um yeah this is about walking away as well yeah um hmm this showed his face first so i'll put it in the order that i see but right now this is in regards to a love uh for you um you are walking away from the things that no longer serve you eight of cups energy you or your person um, are walking away from the things that uh, that don't serve you. It could be for um, a new future, or it could be because of the delusion of wanting this thing called love and wanting peace, happiness, and harmonious energy when it comes to the four wands being here. So this is where we are, and we're gonna go ahead and see. So what about this two? Of, uh, excuse me, two of cups. This lovers energy card of Gemini. Are you dealing with the Gemini, or is this? Do you have Gemini in your chart? Somebody's ego is big, uh, so you're not even pan. You're not even paying any mind anymore. The five of swords energy in the reverse is hate power struggle and an ambush you're just like no i'm starting to hate this person it's becoming a power struggle for me and i feel like every time this person comes around me i'm being ambushed for something negative and all i want is peace here all i want is peace and love with this person yeah so this is making a difficult decision to have to walk away from the things that no longer serve you and this does not mean that it is permanent it just means that you're walking away right now king of swords energy is that you have clarity and you're solving this problem before this person even tries to get it together because you've tried. Um, Ace of Wands energy lets me know that, you know, the courage, the desire and being positive about this situation. Yeah, it's making you feel like no matter the situation you find yourself in, there's always hope. So you're walking away with hopes that maybe things can change um the star energy is here um again the star energy in the upright is no matter the situation you find yourself in there's always hope have faith be optimistic focus on self-care with the star energy being here uh in uh, needing clarification it's just letting me know that you know you have fa you had faith you had hope and you were wishing great fortune on the situation but in the reverse the star being here is insecurities you know it's like um lack of faith in this situation you know um and so that is it's like discouragement and so let's clarify this star energy comes out yeah with the nine of cups energy so eight of cups nine of cups the nine of cups comes in reverse though the reverse of the nine of cups is feeling neglected poor timing and shattered dreams you feel neglected in this situation and there's conflict and competition here could be third party energies or might not be it might just be within this person's ego and you're not willing to fight and argue with this anymore and so therefore the conflict coming and this doesn't have to be with the person this could be in regards to a job so don't get me wrong when i say you know a lot of the times people are here because of relationships issues but it could be in regards to a job so again take what resonates leave what doesn't but there's conflict and competition or there's conflict you're conflicted when it comes to you making uh, a situation you know you're strong enough to do it without this person place thing or situation but let's clarify this five of swords energy i just seen heartbreak at the bottom three of swords energy um at the bottom of the deck when i was just uh trying to get a energy yeah this is follow your heart the ego energy is telling you to walk away. Um, five of swords again in the reverse is hates, power struggle, and ambition. The knight of cups energy is, you know, uh, having confidence uh, when it comes to, you know, like just like 
the romance, the infatuation, and the well-being, but it's telling you to follow your heart because it'll never lead you astray. And that's when you have to deal with a difficult situation. Look at his face. You know, he's sad that he has to make these decisions and wield his sword, but this is what he has to do because he has clarity on why the issues are there. You know, he has to solve the problems even though, you know, you may not want to, and that's just the thing called life. That's the ebb and flow of life. Yeah. And this is seeing the beauty in the situation. The uh, Empress energy is here. This is, you know, growth, fertility, and beauty. Um, you have to, in order for you to grow, you have to make difficult decisions. And sometimes it's the decisions of the heart when it comes to the matters of the heart. And so, therefore, yep, you have the insight. Yep, boundaries. You got to set boundaries. You got to set boundaries. And that is the hard part about it, when, especially when it comes to connections, love, and a friendship again. And jobs, and situationships, any kind of ship situationships, you have to set boundaries for and do what makes your heart happy. And sometimes you have to make a decision to walk away, whether it's been 10 years, whether it's been 15 years, whether it's been eight, whether it's been one, and you see the red flags in the situation. And this goes with you saying, having the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness. The five of, uh, five of Cups energy is insight, knowledge, and sadness. That's what the Five of Cups energy is. And so when you're conflicted in regards to what you have to do, what makes you happy, because you've been given Six of, six of Pentacles energy for six years, you've been given to the situation wholeheartedly without expecting to receive the same yourself. And now here it is, you're at the eighth year and you're just like, you know what? Eight of Pentacles. The reason why I say six years is each Pentacle is equivalent to a year. This may not be the amount of time that you've been dealing with the situation. But let me just tell you the way the world works and the timing and everything. What happens is that before you know it, the sixth and the eighth year will be here and you'll be walking away because you already knew you have, you know what it is. You have the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness. You know, the conflict, you know, what the new beginnings, you know, what you're being unsure about. You know that this with the nine of cups energy being here, you feel neglected. You feel like there's poor timing and shattered dreams, even if this is in regards to your, your work situation, but the moon energy, the unknown energy of the moon, um, the moon says, Always trust in your intuition, but be warned, nothing is as it seems. Learn to distinguish between illusion and reality. And again, with the nine of uh, cups being in the reverse, it's like shattered dreams, you know, the star energy, the star energy needing clarity. Um, it just lets you know that in the reverse, it's, you know, discouragement, it's insecurities and it's uh, lack of faith. And in the upright is faith, hope and fortune. You don't have hope in this situation you don't have faith in this situation anymore because you feel like you've been backstabbed uh ten of swords energy you know you feel like you've been backstabbed and so therefore you've lost hope when it comes to this situation you know and you have to set boundaries the boundaries are you walking away because you cannot be in this situation you know what i'm gonna sit this here yeah a new direction look growth cup of love Love or opportunities, right? Opportunities, great love and joy. And this is having clarity that you got to walk away and trust in your decisions because you be, you reached this plateau. You've been disconnected. You've been bored and you reached a plateau. And this is you moving forward with confidence, chariot energy, confidence and moving forward because this is the completion that you have to have. You got to do the work for yourself in order to have your 10 of Pentacles. If before you know it, 10 years will be here. But if you're living in a, um, um, in a, in a universe where it's lack of stability, money problems and miscommunication, then this is why the universe is telling you to take a leap because if not, this will be in reverse and the reverse is those energies, lack of stability, money problems and miscommunication. If you don't communicate and set boundaries and what you want, then you're going to have to take a leap 10 years down the line. And by the time, you know, the Knight of Pentacles, excuse me, the King of Pentacles here, it says there's no reward without risk. Create opportunities. Don't be afraid to fail and invest your time wisely. So if you don't invest your time wisely, when it comes to this, this communication, this, this, uh, sorry, the two of cups energy, which is love, uh, friendship and connections and a union, right? When it comes to whatever the situation ship is, you will realize that time will pass you up. You'll be miserable throughout. And then you'll start to, um, feel and mis be put in misery. Let me clarify the nine of cups in reverse. Yeah. See? Seven years. So seven years, high priestess, you know this. Something that can only be understood through experience. 
high priestess energy. You already know what's causing you the conflict and the competition, the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness. The five of swords energy being in the reverse is hate, power, and ambush. You don't like to feel that way, and you don't like to feel like you've been backstabbed. So seven years, you planted the seed. You planted the seed, and you've been waiting for things to happen because you've been given to the situation. You know it, and now here it is. You decide for six, seven, and eight years to give to do to work on yourself eight of pentacles energy right you decided to work on yourself because you don't want to be in this situation to where you we have all the fives here almost all the fives yeah almost all the fives here which is the five of we have the five of swords we have the five of uh, um wands and we have the five of cups energy and it's all about doing what makes your heart happy following your heart always follow your heart it'll never lead you astray you know the eight of uh, eight of cups energy is um you know um let me read it to you because I forget. Um, the Eight of Cups energy is let go of what does not serve you and move forward to the next chapter of your story. That's what it's telling you in the beginning. The uh, lover's energy says, let me find it. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Here it is. Always make choices that honors your truth, that lies within your heart. And wait, go out and seek that which, uh, that which completes you and brings you love and joy. That's the beginning, and that's the energy that you're focusing on. And the nine, uh, excuse me, the um, nine of uh, wands energy says, uh, always uh, watch your back and mark your boundaries, or others will mark them for you. This is why you have to set your own boundaries in the beginning of any situation, ship, any job, anything. You have to set your boundaries because before you know it, the uh, sixth year will be here. And again, the six is. Uh, the six of pentacles is give to others wholeheartedly without expecting to receive the same yourself. That's the energy that you're in when it comes to this connection, this union, this friendship, because you're following your heart and everything. But again, you got to let go of it sometimes when it doesn't work the way it needs to. Seven of pentacles says, um, where is it at? Sometimes you need to have a little patience and take a moment to reflect before you can enjoy the fruits of your labor. So you planted the seed. You have to be patient. You're being patient about the situation, but then you realize that the eight of pentacles is here, which it says work hard, hone your skills and find pleasure in an honest day at work. But if you don't find pleasure in something that you're doing, then therefore you will not be able to understand and see why you're doing this. And so the universe is letting you know that that's what you need to do. And it's letting you know about your strengths. Strength is not always physical. Your patience, compassion, and gentle spirit is what makes you strong, not the sharpness of your words. And sometimes the tower moments come when you have to use, when you're starting to, to, to lose your patience, right? And when you're starting to use your words, because, you know, if we get into our queen of swords energy, then that's the one that does, that's not, you know, don't take shit from anybody. The queen of swords says, um... Stand up for yourself. Always speak your mind and don't take shit from anybody. That's when you start to lose your patience and rec realize, you know, and then you got to pull yourself back and recognize your strengths. Tower energy is here. The tower energy says sometimes you need to tear down the limiting structures you have built for yourself to move forward, rebuild better, stronger, and wiser. And that is what you're doing. You're moving forward. And these are the ebb and flows of life because anything that makes you feel like you have to overthink and that you're carrying too many burdens. There, there she is. The Queen of Swords energy comes out. When you're carrying too much, too many burdens, you're overthinking, and you feel like you're having sleepless nights and you don't trust in the situation, then it's time for you to do the work again. Page of Pentacles says, never stop learning. If you think you know everything, you know nothing at all. And when you get to that point, that's when you go into hermit mode. As a cancer, that's when we go into hermit mode, and then we start to be defensive over everything. And then we realize that we've been suspended for far too long, hangman hey energy, and that we've been juggling to make our decision. But then the Knight of Swords shows its face, and it says, um, uh, be tough, be ambitious, know what you want, and go after it in a single-minded determination. You want this thing called love, but right now you want to set your boundaries. Ace of Swords is letting you know to have clarity and then to move forward with confidence. Confidence shines from the inside when you love yourself, own your flaws, and rock them without caring what others think. And that's for you to have your happy life, happy wife energy. Ten of Cups energy is love, satisfaction, and harmony. And that's what you wanted in the beginning, but you you never set the boundaries. And so the King, the, the King of Cups energy says only love, compassion, and understanding can truly bring you the happiness and tranquility that you seek, meaning that you need to understand what's understood don't need to be explained, right? When it comes to why you're setting your boundaries, because you tried the other way, you tried the easy way. Now you got to do it the hard way. And that's the difficult decisions of the King of Swords when he has to make that, when it, when, 
you know, you have to put your head down and have empathy, but at the same time, you got to move forward in a different direction because the Queen of Pentacles, you have realized that a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life, protect and care for them no matter what, that no matter what, like JDS Tarot says, is toxic. It's toxic to you. And so now you got to communicate this. You have to communicate this and you have to move forward. And that's called growth, right? Sun energy. The emperor energy is that you have to do this for your stability, not just for theirs. This person, you're reflecting and mirroring the things that this person was to you. They felt like they were strong to you. They felt like they had it all together. They were stable. You know, um, they felt like they, um, you know, had the power to do things. But then they caused you heartbreak in the process of this because they weren't worried about love. They were putting uh, daggers through your heart or situations that only cared about what it is. And so this is you finding, uh, seeking liberation, finding a way out, you know, when it comes to this heartbreak and looking in a new direction again. And this is you celebrating and uh, in regards to a couple of an opportunity, you know, uh, Page of Cups energy, invitations, having invitations and somebody that's going to work with you as a team, people that complete you and not deplete you. And so that is when it comes to you being the true leader who leads from the heart, inspires others to do more, dream bigger, and be better. You didn't want to get to this situation, but the king, being in the king of swords energy, having clarity and understanding, you know, that you had to solve a problem in order to become this true leader, show, I can show you better than I can tell you. That's who this person is. I can show you better than I can tell you. I will lead. A true leader that leads from the heart inspires others to do more, dream bigger, and be better. But I will make the decisions that I need to make, even though it might not be the ones that I need to make. But this is you having a realization about your insecurities and changing your belief systems behind the toxic people, situations, and things that come into your life. And then the, Knight of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles energy tells you there's no reward without risk. Again, create opportunities. Don't be afraid to fail. Invest your time wisely. Right? And then we have to do again, take another leap. And then in order for us to have our Ten of Pentacles, carefree, harmonious, happy love, you got to do the work. You know, the Knight of Pentacles says you can't get the results without first doing the work. Show up, work hard, keep pushing every day. And this is so that you can have clarity and, ha and, and live with the Ace of Cups energy, opportunities, great love and joy. Again, with the Ace of Pentacles being here, letting you know that this is happiness, joys and new beginnings because the past has made you where you uh, made you stronger. That's the ebb and flow of life. The past holding on to the past has made you stronger. You know, it made you stronger because you had to turn around and set the boundaries. And, and now you are victorious. Now you're victorious. You have success and there's good news coming. But then there's this Knight of Wands that's showing his face. Listen, my Drake energy. Always follow your heart. It'll never lead you astray because it knows things the mind cannot explain. And that's when you have to limit and conserve the way you do things and secure it. Right? And then manifest the hell out of it in order for you to have all the options that you deserve. And that's the completion when you move forward as a chariot with confidence. Because you've reached this plateau and you need balance in your life. Because you've been patient far too long. You struggled and you didn't trust in yourself. So now it's time for you in a situation where there is no indecisive energy. You have to find solutions to difficult situations and walk away and end things. The death energy is here. Death says embrace change and let go of what no longer serves you. Death is not the end. It's a transformation that brings new beginnings. And the page of wands energy says, listen. Let me go back to here. The page of wands energy says, yesterday is history, the past. Tomorrow's a mystery. The only thing that's real is the present moment. So enjoy. This is the past. The present moment right now. And so enjoy. And that's you reaching to your nine of pentacles, the success, the great love, and the rewards. And that's what you were striving for in the beginning. Following your heart for the happiness, harmonious energy, and the peace. Again. Being patient about the seeds you planted, but at this point you couldn't see with the nine of cups being in reverse. The nine of cups in reverse is sluggishness, exaggeration, and a lack of joy. Again, with the ego card being here, right? The five of swords in reverse because there was so much hatred here. So you're back to where you started, but now you know the lessons. Yesterday is history, tomorrow's a mystery. The only thing that's real is the present moment. So enjoy. You cannot hold on to the past and expect the past to change what your future will be or what the present moment is. You have to learn from your past. Oh, Rafiki says the past can hurt, but you either run from it or you learn from it. And what you choose to do moving forward is you hopefully choose to, uh, to learn from it and not run from it. See, because when you run from the past, 
the past pains. You put bandages over it. And those are the people that we run into that need help. Us as Cancers, as empaths, in the Queen of, Sword, uh, Queen of Cups energy, us as Cancers, us as empaths, us as High Priestess energies, we understand what somebody is going through by just feeling their energy. But we try to fix, we try to stay, we try to be patient, and we plant the seed that everything will be okay if you just believe in me and believe. You gotta believe. Okay, y'all. I'm singing Mary J. Blige. You get, you, mm, I can't sing that one. But it's You Gotta Believe in Me. Mary J. Blige, My Life album. Understand that. You gotta believe in me. And that's what, um, oh, it says, please, baby, take my hand. I don't want to be with another man. So if you want to hold on tight, you gotta be, you gotta, you cannot be afraid. You gotta believe. And that's what we want is somebody to believe in me. Believe in you. Believe in me. You want that. And that's what you're searching for in the beginning of this because you see that this person is going through some, you know, why can't you believe in me? You know, if you put your, your trust in me and let me lead the way, please, baby, take my hand. I don't want to be with another man, but if you want to hold on tight, you cannot be afraid. Come on, y'all. I can't make this up. You got to believe in me. And so that is why you have to get to this situation to unlearn, to relearn why you see it. You see it. High priestess energy, something that can only be understood through experience. You've seen this when you feel like it's this past life energy, when you feel like it's this person that you've been with forever and that you just, you know, want to be with and you don't want to have to set boundaries. You just want the love to flow, but that's not how it's going to work. You have to understand that you planted the seed. First of all, you gave too much and that's fine. You planted the seed and then you had to realize that I got to work on myself. Look at this. I'm not making this up. And this is only you understanding. This is all you understanding what it is that you need to do. So here it is. All you want is this, right? You want this person to believe in you, to see, right? <clears throat> you want this person to believe in you and see. You want to have this happy life, happy wife. You know, you, you, you want to have a new beginning. You want to have all these things. So here it is. Six years. Seven years. Eight years. Nine years. In order for you to realize intuition, right? You want them to see the beauty in you. You don't want to set boundaries, right? Hold on. This is what you see. High priestess energy. This is what you get. Sadness. Ego. Conflict. Feeling backstabbed. Having to walk away. Because all you're doing is holding on to this memory. Right? And the universe is saying, yesterday is history. Tomorrow's a mystery. The only thing that's real is the present moment. So enjoy. So you have to understand that. You got to live in the present, not in the past. No matter the situation you find yourself in, there is always hope. Have faith, be optimistic, and focus on self-care. These are the ebb and flows of life, the cycles. It shows it here. These are the cycles that you have to go through in order for you to realize you got to have confidence. And you have to reach this plateau. And this doesn't happen with everybody, but it happens with the people who cause all the heartbreak that you go through. And so once you get to this point to realize that these are the cycles that you have to go through. So the cycle is understanding because you, you understand what it is that you see. The ebb and flows of life. Let's put it that way. So the high priest is something that can only be understood. The cycles of life, ebb and flows of life. But you have to move forward with confidence. And you just want this person to believe in you. That's all you want. So the universe says, yes, the past is here. The past will hurt, but you either can run from it or you can learn from it. You're learning from it in the present moment. And no matter the situation you find yourself in, there is always hope. Have faith, be optimistic, and focus on self-care. These are the ebb and flows of life. You, you, you give too much. You learn. You plant the seed. You give, you give everything and plant the seed that I'm a good person. you got to believe in me. And then you decide to start working on yourself because you want this happiness. 
And here it is all. You want a new beginning happiness. You want the love. You want to follow your heart. You want them to see the beauty in you. But you got to believe in yourself before anybody believes in you. And that's where you lose yourself and have to have these tower moments. Because when it comes to the unions, the cup of loves, the jobs, the people who who deplete you and not complete you, you got to recognize your strengths and you got to understand why there's tower moments. The tower moment again says, um, sorry, sometimes you need to tear down the limiting structures you have built for yourself to move forward, move forward. Rebuild better, stronger, and wiser. The strength says, strength is not always physical. Your patience, compassion, and gentle spirit is what makes you strong. High priestess energy. Not the sharpness of your words, but when you get into that queen of swords energy because you're trying to do what makes your heart happy, and in a turn, you have to set boundaries because this is the energy that you get from the person, place, thing, or situation that you're dealing with, then things start to change. Now, is it changing for the better? You, you tell yourself that. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and let this energy go, but we're going to pull from the crystal deck. The card comes out, the celestite, celestite, and this is your angelic communication, 5D energy, right? Your divine expression and your clarity. You got to have clarity. You got to have clarity. You want somebody to believe in you, but you got to have clarity why you need to believe in yourself and why you need to set these boundaries for a reason. This deals with your throat. Yeah, because when your throat chakra is blocked, you cannot speak what it is that you want. Not until they put that fuel in the fire for you under the Queen of Swords energy and you have to show them your strength. Once you get into that Queen of Swords energy, then you're just like, okay, I can show you better than I can tell you. That is what you're in, right? And so the third eye chakra is your intuition. Again, high priestess energy. Your third eye chakra is your intuition, your perception, and your understanding. You understand what you got to do even though you don't want to do it. You got to make the difficult decisions in order to set the boundaries. And that has to do with having tower moments. Because this is the energy that you got. This is the energy that you gave. And this is the energy that you got. So this plus this equals this. Does that make sense? And that is where you are. And so the crown chakra is your spirituality, your selflessness, and your wisdom. You want somebody to believe in you, but you have to believe in yourself. You have to change your belief systems in order to believe in yourself, in order for somebody to believe in you. Sorry, that's just the way it has to happen. You got to set boundaries. And that is where this energy is coming out the way it needs to come out. The celest celestite. I guess I'm saying that right. I'm not sure. It says, eternal light fills my being. Remember, you got to believe in yourself. You got to believe in yourself, you know, and so there you have it. Now, let's let this negative energy go. This is the energy that we're letting go right here, the energy that you received. You either run from it or you learn from it, and you choose to learn from it, right? Because you, run from, or you ran from it from the past until you had a realization that you planted the seeds. You did everything you could. First, second, third, fourth, fifth year. Fifth year was a struggle, you know, it was a real struggle because then, then it's like you realize and you're giving too much. Anyway, let's let this energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, fifth year. Look at that. Heartbreak, um, bad health. Wait a minute. I said it wrong. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or situation. You get it? I love you guys.